Happy Wednesday, everybody. So today I'm gonna to try something a little different. I'm going to um, do a presentation mode instead of using the smart board. I think it'll be easier for everyone to see. So today we're working on problem solving. You need to have your whiteboard and your journal. We're gonna be on uh, page 200, oh my goodness, 224 in our journal, but first you'll need your whiteboard. So hit pause, go get what you need, and I'll see you here in just a second. All right, so while you are getting your material, um, we are gonna load up and there I am, <laughs> that's what I want. So we're working on our math message today. Let's see if we can solve this problem together. So Sanjay catches the bus at 2.05. Um, it takes him 40 minutes to get to hockey practice. Practice starts at 2.30. How many minutes late will Sanjay be for practice? Now remember, if I go too fast, just hit pause, okay? So we'll do this one together. So he starts, he boards the bus at 2.05, and he is on that bus for 40 minutes. So I'm gonna draw my number line here. Woo, nice little curve. Terrible straight line, Mrs. Martin. All right, so I'm gonna do some hops. So I'm gonna do 10 minute hops because I know that we have 40 minutes and that's a very nice 10 number. So if we start at 205 and we make a 10 minute hop, that will bring us to 215. Go ahead and make these hops on your whiteboard. I'm gonna make another 10 minute hop. That will bring me to 225. I'm not quite to 40 minutes yet. So I need another hop. Now I'm at 2.35, and that was a 10 minute hop. And another hop. Now I'm at 2.45, and that was a 10 minute hop. So I have gone 40 minutes, 10, 20, 30, and 40. So that means if he rides the bus at 2.05, he's going to get to practice at 2.45. But that's not what the question is asking us. The question wants to know, I'm going to change my color. If practice starts at 2.30, how many minutes late will Sanjay be for practice? So 2.30, let's see, ah, 2.30 is going to fall right in here. So that would be 2.30. So let's find out how late he's going to be for practice. I'm going to do just a tiny little five minute hop right there to get me to 235. And then I'm going to do the same 10 minute hop here. And now if I add the five and the 15, so five, sorry, plus 10, I gave you the answer is 15. So Sanjay will be 15 minutes late to practice. He might have a very upset coach, but at least he got there. And that's the important part and he got there safely. So Sanjay will be 15 minutes late for practice. Hopefully you were able to show that on your whiteboard like I did. All right, my friends, we are done with our math message. So let's go ahead and open up our books to page 224, and we're gonna be looking at some number stories today. Um, I'm gonna go over the first one together, and then I want you to give two and three a try. Hit pause, and I'll give you some answers. All right, so just like last time, Kiana has 40 inches of green ribbon. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna draw 40 inches of green ribbon, here it is. There's the beginning of the ribbon and there's the end. She has 40 inches of it. She wants to cut it into nine four inch pieces to make Earth Day award ribbons. Does Kiana have enough ribbon? Okay, so let's pretend I have a scissors and I can cut here, so there's four inches, and I could cut here four inches, and I could cut here four inches. <gasps> Mrs. Martin, is there an easier way? What's that, Kaya? Yeah, Kaya, you're right, there's an easier way. We can just take nine pieces of ribbon, each one is going to be four inches long. What's that, Parker? Yeah, nine times four is 36. So she will need 36 inches of ribbon to make nine Earth Day Award ribbons. Does she have enough? 
Absolutely, she does have enough. How much ribbon, if any, would she have left over? Now I'm gonna use green this time. So she has 40 inches of ribbon all together, right? She has 40 inches of ribbon. She used 36 inches of ribbon. She used 36. So 40 minus 36 is four. So she has four inches of ribbon left. Now, if you really think about that, she could make one more award ribbon if she wanted to because she would have enough. So, okay, let's see what you can do on your own. I'll read you the problem. I want you to hit pause, and then I want you to go ahead and solve it. All right, my friends, here we go. So the city zoo is home to a male African lion. After the lion arrived, he gained about eight kilograms of mass each month for eight months. I think this is pretty important. He did it each month. He gained eight kilograms for eight months. What is the lion's starting mass? Right now he weighs 186 kilograms. So how much did he weigh when he got there? Okay, my friends, hit pause. Now I can't go through it because it would get kind of long. Hopefully you hit pause because if you didn't, you're gonna find out the answer and then you're not gonna know if you did it right. But if you did it right, you will have found out that he was 122 kilograms when he got to the zoo. A little clap if you had it right. Good job, my friends. So let's take a look at number three. Again, I feel like I'm talking really fast, so just hit pause when you need to. Lena's doctor's appointment started at 845. It takes her 25 minutes to drive to her doctor's office. How many minutes early will Lena be if she leaves at 8 a.m.? Hit pause, my friends. Try to use that open number line. All right, I'm back. Here we go. So how many minutes early will she be? She will be there 20 minutes early. It's always good to arrive early. Oh, my goodness, look at this. At what time must Lena leave to arrive at exactly 8.45? Hit pause. See if you can figure that out. Welcome back. Hopefully you hit pause. If not, you will know that she needs to leave at 8.20 a.m. to arrive right on time for her appointment. But it's always good to be a little bit early when you have appointments like that. So try to be a little bit early. Good job today, my friends. That's solving number stories. Um, if I could give you some advice, take it slow, do baby steps, use highlighters, use colors, make it look fun, draw diagrams, whatever you need to do to make it easy for yourself. Don't overread it. Don't make it too hard. Remember, these are two steps. So if you have to read it a few times, that's just fine. Let's go ahead and move on to our number. I'm sorry, our math boxes for the day. We're going to back up a page and we're going to go to page 223. I'll go over our directions for math boxes and I'll give you some time to work. So number one, looks like we're using our parentheses and then our order of operations. Don't forget parentheses, multiplication, dividing, adding, and then subtracting. Taking a look at number three, number two, three fish tanks have nine fish in each one. So three of the tanks have nine fish and one of the tank has five fish. We want to find out how many fish are there in all. So which one of these equations would help you? Now remember, F is the number of fish. And then how many fish do they have all together in all of the tanks? Oh, Erin helped her brother with some homework. They worked for more than a half an hour and finished at 650. <gasps> Fill in the circles next to the times they could have started. And I'm going to give you a hint. You'll have two right answers on this one. So could they have started at 645? Remember, they worked for half an hour. All right, moving on to number four. Pretty easy, we're just solving. If this side is 15, because three times five is 15, we want this side to be 15. So what times three is 15? Hard one, I know, right? The rest will be a little bit harder than that, but you should be able to figure it out. And the last but not least, number five, Julie divided this puppy pen into two small rectangles. How long is the blue side 
use the other information to help you. And what's the area of the whole puppy pin? Now we've been doing a lot of those problems, so hopefully that one will be easy for you. I'm going to just get off my present mode. I'm off. I don't know. I think I'm off. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you were able to figure that out and it wasn't too difficult. I'm learning just like you are. Um, I hope you are hanging in there and enjoying the nice weather because I sure miss y'all. And um, I say, I've learned I say y'all a lot. I don't know why I'm not from down south, but it is what it is. So good luck with today's math lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, also, when you're done with math boxes, either go to Google Classroom and complete the assignment, um, transfer your answers. You can take a picture of them and send them via email. You can just email your answers. Whatever works for you will work for me. We'll see you all later. See you tomorrow.